Right-handed. So, here we go with the bronze medal match at the 11th FIVB World Championships of Beach Volleyball presented by A1. First point on the board for the Russians. Nikita Liamin puts that ball down as Krasilnikov goes to the back of the court to serve once again. It's a smart move by the Russian Beach Volleyball Federation to put these two together, Dane. Fourth and fifth, respectively, the two Russian players in the Rio Olympic Games with different partners, put them together, and these boys are starting to create some magic already. I think for sure it is a fantastic move by the Federation because you can see the chemistry right away between these two. There's a rip cross court by Van Garderen who has really had a smile on his face from ear to ear this entire week long. A dream come true for him to make the medal rounds after playing beach volleyball for three and a half months. I never heard of such a thing. It's absolutely miraculous. Yeah, he's a wild card, 45th seed. And this here playing for the bronze medal. It is quite a remarkable story for the Netherlands. Good shot, though, this time from Nikita Lehmann, 31 year old. The ball is out of play. Let's just watch it again in slow motion. Here is the big Russian blocker up at the net, going with the attacking shot, just puts it wide of the line. And uh, Van Gerderen avoiding Gerderen avoiding the touch on the ball. So the advantage is with Holland, 2-1, to one. Van Garderen serves Leermin. Leermin on the attack now. Now the Dutch will be hoping that the big man, Varenhorst, can get his hands to those attacks from Leermin. Varenhorst, one of the most intimidating blockers out there, and he's got to get his hands up and over the net early, making sure that he gives a target for that offensive player, give him something to think about. Scores all tied, two points all. The Russian blocker, Lehmann, serving right to the middle of the two Dutch players. Almost a bit of confusion, but they sort it out in the end. Good, up, and another one from Krasilnikov. Well, he got the first, but couldn't hold on to the second. One of the hardest things about playing in a bronze medal final is that within the last few hours, you played in a semi-final and actually lost it. Of course, Russia losing to Austria and this team from the Netherlands going down to Brazil. So it's about recovering, having a short memory, putting it in the past, and then working hard here to get on the podium. A big difference on the international circuit between third and fourth place. Very vital to get up top that podium. Yeah, the hidden stars of every beach volleyball team is the coaches that are in the backstage, Dane, and they have to work so hard to refocus their players, refocus their athletes, and get them ready, because still, for both of these teams on court, a bronze medal is a huge success. In a World Championships or an Olympics, it is everything. That's what you work for, to position yourself, to have the possibility to win a medal and Van Garderen is going to have a bit of a dilemma when he's done with this tournament of course he's supposed to go back to his professional team in Italy and continue playing remember he played on the Netherlands national team as well for a few years he's got quite an indoor career going but after the success here you have to start to question which direction will he go indoor or beach Side switch with seven points total on the board, just to make sure there's no advantage from playing at one side of the court or the other. Uh, Liamin levels the scores at uh, four points all. Liamin up and over the top. That's a challenge right there. When you go head up and go right at Christian Barnhorse, it is a risky play, but you're talking about a 6'11", 212 centimeter Christian Barnhorse and Liamin, he himself, 203 centimeters, six foot eight. So he's given up a few inches, but he might make up for it with his vertical leap. Good shot from Van Garderen. It's a wonderful story that you tell us, Dane, about this young lad. Could he play indoor and beach? at the same time, or would that schedule just be too busy and too hard? Well, I'm not sure exactly how much overlap there is. I know that the indoor team not too pleased with <laughs> having to share that responsibility, but when you have skills like he does, that ball ends up just wide. You open up options for yourself, and it's 
got to be a good feeling for the 27-year-old that he was able to come out here and really convert his game. And it gives a lot of lives for indoor players that are hesitant to move over to the beach, the possibility that and when they see someone do it, and you have to have an all-around game, and that's what he has. He can set the ball. He can hit, play great defense, but that time it's Lehman up at the net, shutting down the Netherlands. It is a remarkable story, seeded 45. We know Christian Varenhorst, we know his qualities, and he took a silver medal in the last World Championships in The Hague, but it's the new kid on the block, Martin van Garderen. They're wearing the number one for the Netherlands in their traditional orange shirts that has been one of the star players of this World Championship tournament. Wow, wow. Kralishnikov with a serve and Liamin really powering that down to the sand. Electrifying attacking play from the Russian. Put on your helmet, the impact zone right there. Self-preservation. Van Garderen just decides to turn around. There is no point in trying to defend that hit. A break on the scoreboard for Russia, seven points to five. Kalishnikov with uh, service. Good shot this time from uh, Christian Varenhorst. Russia are trying to do everything they can to keep Varenhorst out of this match day. And you can clearly see from that point score there, it's a justified reason. Look at the thunder cross court by Varenhorst, ripping that one. And when you start off a match, you want to establish that power. And then later on, it'll open up the finesse. Serving Krasilnikov. He leaves it nicely. Uh, Krasilnikov. 14 points total on the board. And another side switch. That may become important if the sun breaks through the cloud here. The good news here at the Red Bull Beach Arena and on centre court is that the rain has stopped and the weather looks like it might be improving for the rest of this bronze and the gold medal match immediately after. Van Gogheren with a little tip on the ball. No problem at all. Great little tip and you notice we switch on increments of seven when you play to 21. A lot of times there'll be an advantage, a good side or a bad side based on the win, but Right now, as the weather, weather gets better, the sun not a factor, the wind not a factor, and fortunately for the players, no rain at the moment. Kaselnikov gets the point for Russia. 9-7, back with the advantage once again. Took the silver medal at the European Championships, Kaselnikov, with his former partner, uh, Konstantin Semenov, in Switzerland this time last year. Krasilnikov serves Russia, serving again to Van Garderen. Yeah, Van Garderen, well, off the block of uh, Liamin. Good play. They really are targeting him, Dane, but he's coming up with the answers. He's not worried about it. He's been targeted all week. And what I like about this last rip, he challenges the block and then he gives a huge primal roar to the crowd trying to fire himself up he knows that in that semi-final he kind of got exposed as we look at the temperature 21 degrees celsius 7 deg 70 degrees fahrenheit and about 83 percent humidity krashelnikov hey, hey, hey. covers well now looks to finish for russia over the top of the block of varenhorst 10-8 I think in that semi-final, the first time that we saw Van Garder and get exposed a little bit in terms of that experience. He's he's made it look like he's been playing on the beach for years, but in that semi-final, it seemed like it was just a little too tough, the Brazilian's pressure, but he is getting every single serve. Yeah, it was a good game by uh, Evandro and Loyola, beating the Dutch 21-15, 21-13. Good shot again from Krasilnikov. He's just 26 years of age. His partner, Liam, in 31 years of age. They're the number one, the big blocker for Russia. They're actually at the top of the uh, FIVB World Tour rankings, having uh, won two events this season. So their status on the tour is growing quite rapidly for a, a new team brought together for this season. Van Garderen on the attack for the Netherlands. 
Good cover from Krasilnikov. Krasilnikov against Varenhorst again. And he's starting to win that battle at the net. Krasilnikov's a guy you just don't want to mess with. So fast, I don't think I've ever seen a player when a ball is so far away from him, about to hit the sand, and he has this incredible strength to drive and get to just about every shot on the court, and he's very efficient at converting as well. Well, Van Gorderen again gives the Russians a piece of their own medicine. 21 points total on the scoreboard. This is the technical timeout in every 21-point set. 30 seconds breather for both of the teams. There's a nice roll shot. Talk about a crash course in experience. Van Garderen has been getting tested so many times and he's got great composure. I must admit, Dane, uh, over the past couple of days, I've become a little bit of a fan of Krasilnikov. He's from uh, a part of Russia down on the Black Sea. It's uh, Krasnodar Krai is the area. And I hope I'm pronouncing his hometown correctly. Uh, Glegzik is what it's called. It's kind of the Santa Monica of Russia. Beach area, a lot of people playing on the sand. And that really sums up Krasilnikov. He's a bit of a Californian-style cool cat, but he's out of Russia and the Black Sea, rather the Atlantic from California. Well, you can tell he's kind of got that strut. He's got that swagger of a homegrown beach player, and he plays with all sorts of style. Now, let's go to the RTBS, get some information. The calorie count, the KCALs, 153 to 0.5 kilometers. So, it looks like the Russian duo are traveling a little further on the court and expanding more energy. And that's possibly why they uh, have the advantage now at 13 to 9. But there is no question of the uh, real-time body sensor, RTBS is what we call it, is telling us that the Russians are just finding the edge against the Dutch from a performance perspective, Dave. They're putting all sorts of pressure, and it's starting from that back line. The Russians love to rip that serve, so serve, receive, everything. And there's another error. That all began with the serve of Krishnikov. The pass about 20 feet off the net, and it's difficult to run an offense when the initial pass is so far away. There. Russia have come out the tech timeout in uh, real form here. Now. Krasilnikov, watch the serve that Dane's referring to. He's had that as fast as 95 kilometers per hour. He's the hardest hitting server along with Ivandro in the tournament. And it's really helping Russia right now. 15 to nine, six clear. Just incredible the velocity that's being put on this serve and it's causing all sorts of problems. The Netherlands are reeling, not even getting an offensive attack the last couple of plays, and they've seen enough. They're gonna call a timeout. There you see in the bottom left-hand corner, six of the last seven points going to Russia, and the Netherlands were hanging tough, but right now, Russia switching to a higher gear. The Netherlands going to have to do the same. Krasilnikov can serve that ball at 60 miles per hour. Dane, uh, you were telling us earlier this week the record, also held by a Russian player, I believe, is over 100 kilometers per hour, though. Yeah, his name was Kolodinsky, and he was feared. It's not urban legend, but he was hitting serves at 114, 115 miles an hour, over 70 miles an hour. Just incredible. You were in a defensive stance, and you were waiting for it. Similar to what we'll see with Evandro from Brazil in the finals, but Evandro not as effective. The third best server in the tournament, Krishilnikov. Amazing speeds on the ball. Oh, Lehman almost got the block there, didn't he? But uh, that point on the board justifies the Dutch call for the timeout, the 30-second break, just trying to stop the flow and confidence of the Russian game. And there's a big flow. Russia has that trademark. It seems like there's always one player, at least on the team, that rips the serve. I love them, I must admit. Here is uh, Krasilnikov. The nice back set to Liamin. Liamin is blocked by Varenhorst. Now, finally, the big Dutchman, tallest player on the court, starts to find his block. 
and quite possibly at a crucial time in this opening set. He has to get blocks, right? That is his number one strength. And you can see Van Garderen celebrating, trying to encourage a few more of these, but that's what has to happen with Christian Varnhorst. He has to own the airspace up at the net. The Dutch blocker, two meters 12. For those of you not working in the new system, six feet 11. He gets a hand there, but just a split second off with his block timing that time, Dave. Well, you called it perfectly. He's just a little late to form his block. And the quick arm swing of Lehman just kind of squeaks the ball through into the sand. 16-11. Good buffer for Russia right now. Russian blocker Lehman with service. He's right at the net already. That is a very nice shot from uh, Christian uh, Varenhorst. You, you always expect him to belt the ball, and he completely deceives Liam in here, Dane. Yeah, you have to have that decision. Can you really get the heat on it, or must you break out the soft shot right there? Great decision by the big man, Christian Varenhorst. Here he is with service. Varenhorst resides in The Hague, still only 27 years of age. Silver medalist in this tournament two years ago. Krasilnikov on the attack for Russia. Down the line. But it is in. I thought that was out. The Dutch are left shrugging their shoulders and looking at each other. He's got the line to perfection here. Remember, if the ball touches any part of the red tape, it is deemed as in. And that's exactly what happened for the young Russian there. <laughs> Russia starting to stamp their authority on this opening set in the bronze medal match here at the Red Bull Beach Arena. Van Garderen sets Varenhorst. Here comes the offense of Varenhorst. Hasn't got a ton of action on serve receive. But right there, he lights it up, going right at Leoman. Challenging it high. These players are playing at a really high level above the net. Van Garderen's got his sunglasses on. The sun is breaking through the cloud here in Vienna. That's going to be out of bounds point for the Netherlands. So it's kind of do or die time for the Dutch to step up and make a few things happen as we get to the end of the set. You know, it is not how you begin the set. It's all about how you finish. The great teams always have that next gear. Let's see if the Netherlands can cut the lead. Oh, well, that was a wonderful float serve from Van Gorderen. Liamin was there in the last minute, but it was just a reaction shot from Krasilnikov there. Just that little touch with the hand, and it's enough to get another point on the board for Russia. They're four clear again. I think the Netherlands have to be ready for that, even though it was so quick. 70 degrees the temperature. 83% humidity, so it's a little steamy down on center court. Oh, and there's a shank serve received. Just a float serve at 49, 50 kilometers uh, per hour. Just over 30 miles per hour. Lehman is the Russian player that mixes the serve. It's his partner, Krasilnikov, who is the guy that can take it up to 70 miles an hour. Van Garderen has been the target for Russia throughout this match. Krasilnikov covers nicely, now he attacks. Not the best of sets from his partner. A little close and tight on the net for him to go to work on that one. Anytime you put the ball too close to the net, this is what you risk, especially when you have 6'11 on the other side. Christian Varnhorst knows how to eat up that shot, and that's exactly what he does there. Ah, we got our first challenge for net fault. Russia thought that maybe Varnhorst was in the net. Remember, you can challenge ball in or out, block touch, net fault, antenna touch, or foot fault at service. Here's the official review. Up and over, and there's going to be no net called. So no fault, and the play will stand point for the Netherlands. Remember, both teams get two challenges. If you're correct, you keep those challenge, but if you are incorrect, you lose it. 42 blocks for Varnhorst, the best blocker in the tournament. Oh, and that is set point for Russia. Nikita Leavitt makes it count. Well,
Well, after the disappointment of losing their semi this morning to Austria, Russia are on the verge of taking the first set in the bronze medal match here. They have been that little bit sharper, a little more accurate, and it's the power play of Krasilnikov that puts them in this position. Now, let's monitor the speed, see if he gives us a big one to wrap it up. He certainly does. Good shot. Handling the pressure so well. I'm absolutely astounded by Martin van Gerderen. Gerderen playing in his first ever Final Four match of his beach volleyball career and shows no sign of nerves on a, one of the fastest serving speeds in the business. It's just incredible how comfortable he is to go from your best being a 17th to making it to the Final Four. Usually you kind of creep up incrementally. He's made a massive jump. And Gondron serves at Liamin. Liamin on the attack for Russia over the top of the block, and it's out of play. Another point back for Holland, 17 to 20. Here he is, Van Gerderen, determined to try and keep the Netherlands in this opening set. Liamin, set ball for Krasilnikov. Liamin with a lovely touch on the ball. Just spinning away from the Dutch defender and Russia take the first set 21 to 17. It's just amazing how big Nikita Lehman is at six foot eight, and he has such finesse inside out, rotation on top of the ball. He couldn't have executed that shot any better. Good play from the boys in blue. Russia absolutely delighted to have claimed the first set. There's the confirmation. 21 points to 17 in the shootout for the bronze medal. The match stats, they're very even. Just one ace on the board for Russia. 13 to 15, the attacks. But those are the difference in points. Dave, let's have a close look at the Russian serve placement because it's a stat that tells us that they're keeping it to the rookie, the most inexperienced player on court, Van Garderen. And why wouldn't you? That's what everyone has done the entire tournament, but Van Garderen, he stepped to the plate. Unfortunately for the Netherlands, he wasn't able to complete it here in the first set. A great <laughs> overview of this venue. A venue I have never seen in the many years I've been around the sport of beach volleyball. For sure, the biggest event that beach volleyball has ever hosted. Credit to the FIVB and beach majors and Hannes Jagenhoff for putting together something just amazing. 240 cows, 25 jumps for the Dutch. They need to raise their game a little. They have to win this second set to stay in this bronze medal match. Almost had his hands on that one, didn't he? The defender from Russia, Krasilnikov. But it's a good start for the Dutch here. And it's another confidence builder for Van Garderen, who spikes that ball down to the sand at just shy of 85 kilometers per hour. That is 52 mph. If you drive your car that fast in the town in London, you get a serious speeding ticket there. <laughs> Great reactions at the net from both of the players, but uh, how about that? Krasilnikov battling it out with the Dutch blocker and coming out on top. Krasilnikov is a crafty player. We've seen his defense and now offensively showing us his stuff as he goes right around. He's very deceptive when he comes in to hit. It's very hard to read. Here he is with service. Very fast. Over on two from uh, Nikita Liamin. See how much damage that high-speed serve does, making life very easy for the blocker at the net. Yeah, anytime you pass the ball too close to the net, it gives the blocker on the other side of the net the advantage, and your hitter kind of can only just watch as it's two to one Russia. Another high-speed serve. Oh, lovely shot from uh, Christian Barrenhorst there. Very, very calm and cool. He was almost off balance as well as he struck it, Dane. Falling backwards, you don't want to come underneath the ball before you take off or you have to jump backwards. He recovered 
really well on that. A serve, no, too deep. That was very close indeed. No challenge, but uh, the advantage back with Russia at 3 to 2, having won the first set 21 to 17. Now, this is the blocker from the Russian team. Nikita Leamin goes straight to the net after service. Yeah. Van Godren on the attack for the Dutch. Nice little cut on the ball. That's where he really looks comfortable, coming in and shooting the ball or hitting the ball. You know, I couldn't believe that it had been just three months of beach volleyball for the Van Gar for Van Garderen, and he said it is true. Now 70 degrees. It's <sighs> sun's starting to peek out on the court, much to the delight of not only the players but the fans. It was getting a little cool compared to the temperatures we have yeah. had throughout the last nine days. No, Vienna experiencing a heat wave like uh, a lot of this part of uh, Central Europe has been. Uh, temperatures uh, 36, 37 uh, degrees at Celsius, uh, over 125 degrees Fahrenheit. But uh, on the finals weekend, the temperatures have dropped a little. The players are certainly appreciating the drop in temperature, but a little bit of sunshine and a cool breeze it's just making it perfect for a beach volleyball bronze and gold medal match. Yeah, the weather really has cooperated this week. Couldn't ask for much more, maybe a little toasty at times, but you'll definitely take that as opposed to the flip side. Varenhorst serving. Over on two. Let's give it to the Russians. Farron Horst has pulled that one out of play. Absolute characteristic error from the 27-year-old uh, uh, Dutch blocker. But you know when you're not going to getting served and involved, sometimes you want to get involved, and he kind of forced that over on two situation, something he shouldn't do. Just keep going to Van Garderen because he has really been answering the call. You want to keep that confidence going as well. Liam in. Serving Van Garderen. Krasilnikov with a fantastic save. Oh, and they've got it again. Look at this play from Russia. They take the point and the break at six to four. But Krasilnikov showing why this young lad is growing in to be one of the best defenders in the game. Remarkable. He just gets up everything, keeps us in very safe. And this is the surprise, right? The player who's been playing for 11 seasons was in the finals last in 2015 in the last World Championship. He's the player making the airs right now. The player who's been playing for three months, he's pretty sharp. So maybe the roles will reverse <laughs> and Van Garderen needs to give some encouragement to Varnhorst. Here's Van Garderen on the attack. Nice touch on the ball. Look at Krasilnikov scamper across the sand and then put the perfect rainbow shot to the back of the court for Holland. So this is how they played in the semis, day when they got the better of Phil Dolhauser and Nick Lucena. Once his confidence gets up, you feel he can do no wrong. Yeah, he's got so, so much style, and I've never seen a player run down a ball like he does. I mean, Van Gardner hits that ball. He thinks it's all the way down to the sand. Not so. <laughs> Brilliant play from Krasilnikov. Three clear now, Russia. They've already won the first set at 21 to 17. As we said, the Netherlands have to win the second to take to a third tie break. We'll Tries to chicken wing that one, doesn't get it right. Wow, isn't this guy incredible? <laughs> Krasilnikov, he, he doesn't flinch on defense, so he's got that ability to hang in the power zone. Uh, 141 kills for Van Garder and the best attacker in the tournament. He's definitely got the most work. Well, he's definitely making a name for himself, isn't he? Uh, we got a foot fault on the back line now. It'll be interesting if Van Garderen challenges this. If he doesn't think there's a foot fault, he should challenge. Maybe he's not aware of that rule. Christian Barnhorst should be aware of it. And they're not going to dispute it. Interesting. Well, as. Uh We've been talking about his lack of experience, that crossover from the indoor game to the beach. And uh, 
There's the first. Oh, service ace from uh, Krasilnikov. <laughs> he can't do anything wrong at the moment. Picking everything up in the defense and now showing a brilliant serve. Wow. Krasilnikov has been so impressive. Just a natural beach volleyball player. And after five out of the last six points, we kind of saw this happen in the first set where Russia started to go on a run. Netherlands need to slow it down. Dave, my Dutch isn't that good, to be honest, but... Um, I've got a funny feeling he was explaining what the fault fault rule was there because they have a little smile on Van Garderen's face. OK, you can't touch that red line when you serve. I promise I won't do it again. It's just, they have got such a chemistry. We're going to be hearing a lot of this Dutch duo, whether they get the bronze or not. It's a remarkable story. And uh, fourth position for the, what seeded are they again? Let me remind ourselves. 45th. 45th is uh, the lowest extraordinary. seed in the history uh, the FIVB to make it to the final four. So they've already broken some records here. And now it's all about trying to get on this podium. You've got to stop this guy with the serve, Krasilnikov. Well, that justifies the call of the timeout. That's why each team is given the option to call that 30 second break. But where you take it and how you use it is a key part of the game. Varenhorst serving Lehmann. Set from Krasilnikov. Oh, Varenhorst up at the net, but not quite getting the direction he wanted from the ball. Nikita Lehmann finishing fifth place with Dmitry Barsuk in the Olympic Games. His partner Krasilnikov finished fourth place in those same Olympic Games. He did that with Semenov. And these two deciding to team up, and the chemistry seems there definitely here in 2017. Varnhorst for Van Garderen. I think he's put that out. You can see the referee looking for confirmation from his linesman there. Um, and it is, it's now four clear for Russia. Ten to six. Russia in blue and white. This is uh, Nikita Lehmann. 31-year-old from Nizgeni. Yeah! Oh, beautiful comeback right there. You know, that ball was served right in the middle of the court. Very interesting that Christian Barnhorst didn't take that because Van Garderen's getting every single thing. You know, he's an outside hitter in his in indoor position. Taking a look at the warm-up court, there's Chris, there's uh, Alexander Horst. And of course, Clemens Doppler getting ready for the final, getting ready to make history. Van Garderen with service. Holland need points on the board quickly here right now. That's too deep. You know, Nick, seeing Doppler and Horst out on that warm-up court, it, really, it gives me chills. They have an opportunity to really right the ship. All the disappointment for the last 20 years of not winning a tournament if Clemens Doppler and Horst can get on top, it would be a dream come true. Almost diving into the dugout to save that ball, Nikita Lehmann of Russia. Balls up in the air. It's so hard to just get a shot to the sand cleanly without one of the Russian pair getting their hand on it. Look at the big man trying a back flipper. He comes up just a couple inches short. That's a great view of the replay of how versatile and how agile Lehman is. Good shot of Christian Varenhorst through the net. Serving for the Netherlands. Trailing Russia by four here. And uh, Krasilnikov goes over on two. That's that experience, the six foot five Krasilnikov been playing for seven seasons on tour. And you can just tell the experience, that high volleyball IQ, sensing and knowing 
Wendell go over the net on two. 21 points total on the scoreboard. Technical timeout, quick 30 second break. Let's have a close look at the Dutch service placement and try to find the answers to their game here against Russia. They're all going to Liam in. They know that Krasilnikov, if they let him attack, is one of the fieriest players in the business. But should they change that tactic now, Dane? Because it doesn't seem to be working. Well, I, I would say yes, but I don't think it's going to help to go to Krasilnikov because he's on fire as well. I've seen a lot of teams try to pinpoint Krasilnikov. It's tough. You got two choices, and neither one of them are good. There's the warm-up court, Alexander Horst. Oh, there's Kira Valkenhorst, oh, actually. It's maybe nice, isn't it? Giving some congratulations and some good luck wishes to... Austria, so that is nice to see. Clemens Doppler just having a little warm-up jog. Could be such a magical moment, not just for Austrian beach volleyball, but for Austrian sport. Kira Valkenhorst and, of course, her partner, Laura Ludwig, winning their first world championship yesterday, completing the Triple Crown, winning the World Tour final a year ago the Olympic champions in Rio, and now they hold the title world champion. And Russia are looking good to grab a bronze here. Service error from Liam is a little frustrating, but they're still 49. Five points clear of the Dutch duo, Varenhorst and Van Garderen. And of course, that Russia wrapped up the first set, 21-17. Holland must win the second set to take it to a third tie-break decider. Oh, great athleticism, and his partner really enjoyed it too. Nikita Liam in there at full stretch to put that one away. And it looks like he's going cross court. It is so hard to line up that line shot, but he, he makes it look easy. And I was mentioning earlier, there's the overview of this kind of beach volleyball compound. It's the biggest that I have ever seen. So exciting, seeing so many people come through here. That's too close. And that's another quick point on the board. And again, the Netherlands are really struggling to deal with this high-speed jump serve from Krasilnikov. It's just too much heat on it. And you have to have your arms out early and really absorb the, the power. Otherwise, it goes too close to the net. And we've seen what happens there. Lehman, Lehman kind of eats it up and throws it straight down. This is becoming a rout. That was just a little too long, but I say just a little. And there's the Brazilians in the warm-up court. That's Ivandro. It's interesting to note that uh, he's one of the best servers in the tournament and on the FIVB World Tour. Uh, the service element of the Brazilian game in the gold medal match will be key. But let's keep our focus on the bronze here because uh, Holland are digging deep, trying to keep the Russians at bay, pulling a very valuable point back on the board, but they're still trailing by five. Varenhorst is the Dutch player to serve once again here. Van Garderen now attacks for Holland. Liam in with a lovely block at the net. Oh, a little confusion from the Russian players. They sort themselves out. Liam in. Oh, that was almost perfect. Linesman has a double check. And it's out of play. Take a look at the replay right here. Liam in up, gets the block, and it's the Netherlands that end up covering there. Most impressive in that last play as we look at the real-time body sensors. 391 kcals for Krasilnikov now traveling 1.4 kilometers. So the number's starting to rise. Yes, definitely so. It's, a, it's been a tough match for all four players and uh, even more so because they played a semi-final earlier today. And these guys... Uh, played in some pretty difficult rain conditions. The ball was getting heavy, the sand was wet. It's much improved now. Uh, the wind speed, 6.4, we'll watch that. The temperature and humidity are still pretty high. 
A little confusion from the Dutch, but they sort themselves out. Van Garderen with the shot. Nice little touch on the ball. Solid right there by Van Garderen. The set a little bit too far off the net, but not a problem for Van Garderen. Traditionally an outside hitter playing indoor volleyball. He's very comfortable with that shot. Van Garderen. Again, the Dutch stick to their plan of serving Nikita Liam in, and Nikita, well, he fluffs that one really badly. A serious uh, shank on the serve receive. Yeah, that's what happens when that ball has a lot of float on it. Liam in looked like he might have taken his eye off it on the very last second. The Russians better be careful here. They are giving life to the Netherlands. Quick points on the board. They've narrowed that advantage of Russia to just two points now. A lovely shot from Warren Horst to take that point. Way to get his shoulders faced where he wanted to go so he didn't hit the ball out, and the Russians have seen enough. This lead has been cut to two, and what looked like was basically over at 16 to nine. Six of the last seven points go to the Netherlands and all of a sudden they have life. The Russians have to be kicking themselves. They almost, uh, that's what you have to watch out for. You, you get too much of a lead, you kind of take your foot off the gas and the other team, they're fighting for their lives and they kind of crack, crawl and, and scratch their way back into this match so there's some concern on the russians face right now yeah we've seen it many times before uh, cruise control does not work in this sport this is the warm-up court shot with uh, the austrian coaches and of course the austrian team there alex horst clemens doppler making their prep for what could be and the brazilians are out on court there's loyola and evandro all getting ready for the gold medal match. We still need to settle the bronze. And as far as Holland are concerned, they're still in this. Look at the KCALs for yourselves. Nearly 500 KCALs from uh, Varenhorst, 45 jumps. He's been working incredibly hard in the past 10 to 15 minutes to try and keep the Dutch team in this match, team. Yeah, running up to the net, blocking. A lot of energy expenditure, especially as a full-time blocker, to have to run up to the net every single time. Liam and doing the same for the Russians. Krasilnikov's serve has been one of the key weapons here. Oh, but it's the block this time of Nikita Liam in. That was quite spectacular. Well, let's make it three blocks on the match for Liam in. Equal now with Christian Varenhorst. And we said it early on that Varnhorst would have to own the airspace if the Netherlands are going to get a victory. He hasn't been able to do that, therefore a four-point deficit. And a big service from Krasilnikov. Van Garderen for the Dutch. Another block! Oh, and uh, Varnhorst has a little whisper in his partner's ear. You've got to change that. It's not going to work. Well, it goes the wrong side of the net. It comes in between the net and the Russian, but I'm not sure Varenhorst wants that to be the play if they're to stay in this second set. Well, he got away with one, right? He did. Kind of greased it in the elbows, we call it. An outside hitter, very proficient at doing that because remember on the indoor game for Van Garderen, sometimes he's facing two and three blockers in his face. Indoor, of course, six on six. Beat just two on two, so you only have one blocker to deal with, but you, you, you can transfer those techniques. This time, Lehman cutting the ball right down the line, just out of reach of Varnhorst. Match point for Russia. 21-17, they've taken the first set. They're at 20-16 to 16 here. Lehman with service. And Krasilnikov almost has his hands there. Varenhorst doing well to step in there. Second match point for Russia. Holland with the service. Can the Netherlands keep this one alive?
Joseph Pokel, is it? It's all over for Russia. 21 to 17. The hard work has paid dividends.